I wanted to share my first impressions with you on the OpenCDIS validator tool. Um, it downloads with a series of files. The particular bat file um, that starts it is called clients and it just runs like a bat file but it starts a Java um, looks like a, a Java program here with a nice graphical tool and allows you to select the data sets in which you're going to uh, validate against uh, either uh, SDTM 3.12 or 3.11 are the various tools that it has. So the selection of the data set is nice. Um, now it allows you to do either tab delimited data or I actually have SAS data sets so I did have to convert it to transport files so um, what I did was, let me go ahead and go to that example here. Um, so these two data sets that I have here are actually original SAS uh, data sets from the CDIS website and so they should be pretty standardized. And so I select those and then um, I can just run it. So the output report also comes in, in various different formats here. As you can see it could be either um, CSV or Excel or HTML. Now in my initial test, um, Excel seemed to work well. That is when I select that and generate the report, it seems to generate it without any um, errors. Errors in the application, not, not errors in the, the findings. Of course it, it found issues with the data sets, but uh, what what I am referring to is when I try to generate an HTML report, at least in, in my testing, um, it couldn't do it. It, it created some, some Java error. Um, I did download the latest Java, so I don't know, maybe this is still uh, in progress, the report generator for uh, HTML. So anyways, I, I went ahead and did the Excel version and some things could be improved, I guess, in terms of the location of the report. Uh, it would be nice to have that, you know, be specified here. So initially, I didn't know where the actual report was generated. Um, looking into it further, I realized that it got generated where the actual um, tool was. So in this case, um, the data set I used was located here. But if I go to the location where I downloaded the actual tool, there's a subfolder called reports. And in there, um, there exists some of the reports that I just generated. Now, in this particular machine, I don't have Excel. It creates a, maybe a 2003 version, an XLS version of Excel. So let me just go ahead and go to another machine where um, I may have that. Um, uh, Excel loaded. So in this case, when I open up the output file, it's um, you know it's a nice color-coded Excel file here with a summary page uh, as the first tab here. But then uh, I'm sorry, let me go ahead and get uh, to show you here. But then, if you want to drill down to the other tabs, such as the issue summary. Um, it points out some issues. I think a lot of these have to do with control terminologies. Um, let me just zoom in for you so that you can see as an example some of the specific issues that it found. Uh, for example, the race, it couldn't find some code lists. So with the AE body system. Now if I click on these, these are nice in that they have hyperlinks. If I click on them, it jumps to another tab. If you look down here, it's actually another tab within the same, um, you know, Excel spreadsheet. So it describes specifically what control terminologies, um, code lists that it's missing. So the, the it's nice in that you can navigate through and find uh, a summary with how many particular issues it had. In this case, it had, you know, 16 instances of the AE body system um, and then you can click on it to see more specifically um, you know what what that issue is now going back to the application itself um, let me see if I can bring it back it's not obvious by looking at the GUI uh, I think I had to kind of drill down on it a little bit more to figure out where I would 
point to the control terminologies. Let's see. Um, it, uh, so I think it would be more uh, user-friendly if, if there's a location where I can specify that control terminology that perhaps I can download uh, from the uh, CDIS website or maybe from the open CDIS or maybe I haven't finished downloading this app but uh, there's still some things to be worked out but in general it's a very nice uh, user interface with a nice report generator to help validate um, your uh, CDIS data sets. I also tried generating the define XML and in this case it, the process this is the same you can select your data sets and then um, you can then generate your define XML. The caveat, I think, or something that need, can be improved is that it generates it, but it doesn't, um, when you view it, it, it doesn't come with a, a style sheet or a XSD. So it shows it to you, you know, in a browser as a whole bunch of markup code. So maybe in the future they would um, accompany it with a style sheet or an, a an XLSD so that it shows it in a, an HTML-like format. They can view it as a human being instead of a computer trying to read the, the code. But uh, for a free tool, I think it's very nice. Um, there's some room for improvements, but I think uh, this will be a very useful tool.